This is Fox 26 Morning News at 8 a.m. With a record number of Americans taking prescription medications and a growing opioid epidemic, doctors are turning to different treatments for pain management, one of which is stem cell therapy. Here to explain is Dr. Ed Nash with KSF Orthopedic Center. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Let's just talk about the fact that chronic pain is not only a real pain. I mean, mm -hmm. it can really affect someone's life. Financially, right. it could be tough. Mm -hmm. Then then we've got all of these addictions to medications, we, but you're finding that there's something else that's helping. It's really exciting. For patients who have tried and failed conservative measures, mm -hmm. or they've been told surgery is the only option, patients and doctors like myself are so excited to have this new cutting-edge technology available, um, and it, we're seeing tremendous outcomes. What are you doing with it? So this is to try to prevent surgery in the first place, right? So this yeah. is to manage the pain. That's right, yeah. So tr we've seen it used by the orthopedic surgeons to try to improve healing times mm -hmm. and get back to work quicker. Um, on the prevention side we're looking at as, as more of like a maintenance or a way to avoid surgery in the first place. A lot of patients are going to like that non-invasive that sounds great. Just exactly. So what do you do? do you, are you actually injecting the site that where the pain is? Exactly so we can inject a, a joint, a muscle, um, somewhere in the spine, anywhere where they're having trouble we can inject there. We use ultrasound guidance to make sure it's in the right place mm -hmm. um, and so far it's been a great tool. Where do the stem cells come from? Is it the patient's own stem cells? Great question. So there's three sources approved by the FDA in the U.S. You can get it from your bone, bone marrow, from your fat, or you can get it from it's a uh, elective C-sections. You can take the um, amniotic fluid, and that has uh, the stem cells, mm -hmm. growth factors, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory effects. And it's making such a big difference. Let's talk about the myths with stem cells. We've come a long way, but there are still some people who are a little concerned about it. So let's debunk those myths. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So the, the most common thing people will ask me is, well, where does it come from? And mm -hmm. so I mentioned those three sources. The challenge with the first two is it's difficult to get it paid by, mm -hmm. by the insurance. The third source, we've had some success. Um, and what's amazing is you've got this, it's an elective C-section, so mom and baby go this mm -hmm. way, and then the, um, out, the amniotic fluid is then sent to an accredited tissue lab. So it's been screened. There's not been a single uh, reported case of any disease transmission. Um, and so it kind of relieves some of the old fears. Is this related to abortion mm -hmm. or is this an, a leftover embryo in a, that's frozen or something? And so that is not the case. And you cannot catch anybody else's disease. That's huge to know. That's right. The, the second myth, stem cells come from fetuses. Correct. Again, like you just mentioned that, not the case. That's right. That's not the case. That was one of the, that's the question I get most of the time. And mm -hmm. I explain it's amniotic fluid that's normally discarded as medical waste. Mm -hmm. and it would have been now. thrown away and the that's baby right. was born and is in mom's arms now. That's right. Okay. Number three, it'll do more harm than good if I do this treatment. Do you so hear that as well? We've heard that as well. Some people say, well, what are the side effects? What are the complications? Um, the reality is for the 20% of folks that don't respond, really it just doesn't work. They may mm -hmm. have some injection soreness, but we've not seen any long-term ill effects. And do you see people not having to undergo surgery because of it? We've had a fair share of home runs. I've got some folks with shoulder, knee pain gone. They're back on the golf course. They're gardening, doing hobbies. Um, more commonly, we're seeing it as a good maintenance method, mm -hmm. way, a way to avoid medications and, and not do steroids. What do people say about that? They have to be thrilled, huh? Oh, yeah, very excited. Insurance finally getting on the bandwagon? We're coming around. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a little bit of a cat and mouse game sometimes, but we're seeing good success. And the literature is coming in, and it's proving that it does work. Mm -hmm. And so once they see that, then they say, you know what, if it's making them feel better and they're not taking these medications, then they're right. going to help you pay for it. Yeah, reduce medications, avoid potential addiction problems, and a surgery. So. Okay. How can people find out more information? Um, you can go to my webpage. is ksfortho.com. Okay. We have information there. There's also Dr. Nair, Dr. Nash Cares .com. Uh, But if you look up um, stem cell therapy, generally mm -hmm. you'll see some of the top manufacturers, and they have good information on the webpage. Fantastic. Dr. Nash, thanks for being here. Thank Valuable you. information, and I'm glad to see how far we've come. I'd love to follow one of your patients sometime Absolutely. before, during, after. And let's yeah. see, let's, we'll, we'll show our, our viewers what it's all about. That'll be fantastic. All right. I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. Jose.